The story of this amazing fruit, noni, begins with its most important ingredient, proserine, which is a large molecule with two club-like ends. When we drink the juice of the noni fruit, the proserinine goes through our digestive tract and into the large intestine where it is then sent into the liver. The liver is the main storehouse for many of the essential nutrients which we take into our bodies. Every two hours, the liver should release a certain amount of this proserinine into the bloodstream where it is converted to zeronine, a substance used in protein assimilation. Through the bloodstream, it is transported to various tissues of the body. To understand what happens, it is necessary to move into the molecular level. In order for the proserinine to be made into zeronine, the action of an enzyme called proserinase is necessary. Proserinine wraps itself around the enzyme proserinase, and the enzyme joins the two club-like ends of the proserinine together, cutting off the useless chain. It then combines with serotonin, a hormone primarily produced in the brain, to form an essential molecule called zeronine. Once zeronine is formed, it combines with many proteins in the body. These proteins require zeronine in order to function. There is a specific site on certain proteins that allow them to combine with zeronine. Many of these proteins are not able to perform any of their duties without zeronine. Not all proteins require zeronine to function, but many vital proteins acting as hormones, antibodies, and enzymes need zeronine. Zeronine enables the protein to carry out their responsibilities. First, they give structure to hair, skin, and bones. Proteins provide most of the structure of your body, even down to the cell itself. Second, they allow the transport of chemicals within and without the cell, attracting important nutrients and allowing them passage through the cell membrane. Third, proteins also act as hormones in the body. In this capacity, they coordinate all bodily processes at the molecular level. Fourth, they act as antibodies in their support of the immune system. The antibodies attach to foreign bodily invaders, such as viruses, and incapacitate them. Finally, proteins act as enzymes facilitating all chemical production in the body. Our cells are constantly breaking down and building chemical compounds, and it is protein that allows this to happen. Now we understand why proserinine is so important to our bodies. Knowing that it is naturally supplied to us by the food that we eat, why do so many people realize benefits from the regular use of the noni fruit juice? There are several reasons why the body requires a proserinine-rich supplement. One of these is the loss of micronutrients from the soil due to chemical fertilization and soil nutrient depletion. Another is poor nutrition. Illness or a highly active or stressful lifestyle. Even aging will place an increased demand on proteins. In order to meet these demands and keep the body healthy, we can increase our supply of proserinine by drinking noni juice to overcome the effects of low levels of zeronine and restore healthy protein assimilation. As we have learned, the liver is the main place of storage for proserinine. The second major storage place for proserinine is the skin. Proserinine is converted to zeronine throughout the body, including the skin. An ample amount of proserinine is needed to maintain healthy skin, hair, and scalp. By using skin care and hair care products containing proserinine, skin, hair, and scalp conditions may show marked improvement. We have described only a few applications of an extensive list, which can be created in support of the tremendous potential proserinine supplements could have. Consumers of noni fruit juice have already experienced many amazing benefits that a proserinine supplement can have on maintaining health and assisting the body to heal itself. By sharing the cultural uses of the noni fruit and the scientific knowledge of how and why we can benefit from a proserinine-rich supplement, we are making a major contribution to the goal of a healthier world.